non-recording. A reminder to shut off your, mute your voice. Aloha and Tasi Delay from Kauai Tibetan Buddhist Dharma Center here on the island of Kauai. We present this class every week, six to eight o'clock. And for those who are going through the time changes with daylight saving, they won't have to stay up so late. <laughs> I'm Lama Tashi. Um, these classes are recorded for people in different time zones and so that people can learn the practices at their own leisure. When we present the Dharma, we present it in what we call two, two themes or two states of practice. They are called bodhicitta because they, they cannot be separated in Dharma practice. But there are two bodhicittas, the relative and the ultimate. The relative bodhicitta is based on compassion for limitless sentient beings. No one left out. And that's the bodhisattva training of, of most of the relative level of practice. And it carries the antidotes to many afflictions, both physical, mental, and emotional. The other bodhicitta is beyond the subjective mind. In other words, it's a state of awareness that, that we all possess, but we need the guidance of the teachers to show us the importance of it so that we gain conviction that, that, it, that it is useful. And in the practice, the, this ultimate state is called ultimate bodhicitta. So we have relative bodhicitta, ultimate bodhicitta. Chitta means mind. So we have the mind that we're all aware of, and that awareness is the dull awareness based on ignorance, based on attachment, based on aversion, jealousy, hatred, anger, fear, hope, all kinds of conflicting negative aspects of consciousness. The other ultimate bodhicitta is none of that. And therefore, it, it is a state of liberation. But what is it in our reality? To sum what I, up what I'm pointing at, all of the Dharma, which is two words, Dhar meaning as things appear, wisdom, ma, mother, as these things appear in their own nature, they are like a dream. Their essence is voidness, but in reality, they are a state of presence. So all of the Dharma practices, even the Hinayana, which are not altruistic, but very useful. For instance, the three light breathing and the five out elemental healing meditation. Mahayana means the altruistic motivation to bring this to everyone. And the Tantrayana were the three evolve into three states of higher intelligence awareness that have no ceiling, no goal. To understand this need to establish a state of presence, both in practice and between meditative sessions in our worldly activities, even through sleep, dreams, dying, and so forth. I have a book that ties it to Rinpoche, one of my great teachers, gave me a advised me to get 50 years ago. And it went out of print about 10 years ago. 
And we acquired somehow to one of our friends four copies and it's called The Way to Go. And this is a picture of Tai Sutu Rinpoche. It's available on, on Amazon. Huh? It's available on Amazon. Was it available on Amazon? Used copies only. Used copies. Used? Yeah. Oh, good. It'd be this great is for the, Eliot's friend. This, this is one of the most important books of Dharma practice. The pointing out instruction is very simple. I was going to read it from the book, but I'm just going to say it in my words. First of all, the relative bodhicitta is simply a state of appraising the universe just as it is. And in doing so, with whatever practice you do, is that practice bring, with the guidance of the teacher brings you to a state of presence. Because when doing the pra practice, the mind, the thought process of the mind is not established as something that's, that's doing something. The other, the other part of this is the present, the present moment. There, there is no thought. Why is there no thought? Is because through the practice of the relative bodhicitta, you start to lose your judgmental mind. The judgmental mind does this. This is good. That's bad. This is superior, that's inferior, and I don't know. Those five things. When those five things are deleted, or somehow transformed, the present moment, there is no past, no future, and you can't find the present because as soon as you say present, it's in the past. <laughs> so what are, we, what are we saying? We're saying that all the Dharma practice is to simply establish that ongoing state of presence. And not only your formal practice with the guidance of the Lamas, but in your everyday activity, no matter what they are. And that's a lot. And I want to tell you that it's called mindfulness because you have to re keep remembering that, especially when you're in front of awkward people or in awkward situations or the thought mind keeps invading and when that happens, then the thought mind, you apply those five non-judgmental factors. Don't say they're good. Don't say they're bad. Don't say they're superior. Don't think they're inferior. And don't lose your awareness, which is a state of not knowing. That said, Let's practice. Now with so many activities, diseases, wars, famine and drought, poverty, environmental destruction, spread of toxins, and social disorder taking place more and more in the world around us. The antidote is to understand the reality of that is it's an illusion. It's illusory. It's no more real than the reflection of the sun and the water in the morning 
all those billions of lights coming off the wave. All of that can be summed up just like that. But at the same time, there's an immense amount of suffering and pain being endured by limitless sentient beings, whether they're in the human world, animal world, or the four realms of the spirit world. And so we are doing something about it. Where? Here. And when you get this here, present state coming from your heart, with loving kindness and compassion, it starts to do something here with this storytelling mind that wants to give you endless blah, blah, blah <laughs> about who you are. This starts to dissipate that. Why? Because this voice doesn't do that. But you can still feel it. You can still hear it. And, and it in itself is a state of awareness that, yes, can become beyond conceptual mind unimaginable but at the same time creates on its own intelligence, a state of intelligence that doesn't exist in all this drama that's pervading this planet. And we can say, this planet, this island, this town, this Dharma center, this person. And where does the change start to take place to transform that into something more appropriate is with the heart connection, first of all, to yourself, then to your teachers, and then more and more and more to all the humans especially those that you're close to and all the animals and the nat natural world around you, which in itself is the best Dharma teacher. And then to the whole universe. And as what the word universe means, one nice sound one perfect vibration. And that oneness is the Buddha energy field of the Oxobaya Buddha, which is sitting over my right shoulder on the shrine bottle behind me. But that Buddha energy symbolizes not just unity, but a kind of wisdom where all the light of all of what's going on is useful. It's, you, you start to think of your mind like a mirror and you, you attract all of that with your loving kindness, with your concern for the well being of everyone and the environment around you. And that is the mirror like wisdom of your own natural mind which is called sunyata, voidness. And it doesn't mean nothing. It means a, a state of intelligence that has no goal, but at the same time has no ceiling, always increasing. Sit with your back straight. And if you can't sit, laying down is okay. Sometimes standing is okay, moving is okay. But however you can stay 
single-pointedly focused on whatever mind training program you are practicing, whether it be the Hinayana of the three lights or five elements or the Sutra or the Tantric tradition or Mahamudra itself. Head slightly tilted forward, hands in a comfortable position on the lap or in your, on your knees. Mouth closed, if you can, breathe through your nose. Eyes open, softly gazing to the space and light about arm's length in front as a reference for the ultimate nature, or even more importantly, a reference of what it means to be present. Then you bring your awareness, your focus to your breath, that which keeps you alive and sustains you. And by focusing on your breath, you not only improve the quality of that function of your body for the purposes of good health, physical, mental, and emotional, but also it can be extended to others as a healing energy because it doesn't stay in you. It comes in here, fills all this area around your loving, kind heart, and out it goes to everybody else. And the spontaneous activity of focusing on your breath increases the energy. And we're energy feeders to the max. We're bodies of energy and everything we take in is energy. Our thoughts are energy. Mahamudra, the state of sunyata, universal voidness is energy. And you sum it up with the word light. So sit with your back straight, focus on your breath. Take three deep breaths. and exhale purposely out your nose or out your mouth. Clearing. Then again. Then one more time. Then focus on the inhale as white light filling your lungs. Move your focus to the energy that's spontaneously occurring as the middle breath or absorption breath, taking the energy of the elements, the five elements in the air and passing them through every cell in your body in a flash of energy. Then the exhale is a combination of those two and that energy breath, the absorption breath is visualized as red light. Then the white light, the red light, exhale as blue light out your nose. As a powerful gift to the sentient beings, throughout space. Again, inhale the white light till your lungs. The air transformed into the energy of red light passing through every cell in your body. These two codes together exhale this blue light out your nose to space. Think of the sky.
And with practice, when you have these three lights working just the way I said, incoming, absorption, and expelling, then count 21 of these three light breaths. Do 21 breaths. When you reach the 21 count, take your focus off the breath. Gather the three lights into one tiny point of light and reference it or imagine it or visualize it in the center of your chest, creating a bindu, a tigli in Tibetan, or what is called a chakra, energy center. And the moment you do that, that point of light connects to the infinite light of boundless space. So now the 21 gifts have become a universal gift of light. So for a few moments, relax in this state a pure light energy. Be present in space. And having tasted the sunyata, the peaceful quality, also called tathagata, reinvent the particle of space in your heart chakra and think of it in the central channel of your life force. Focusing on that point, expand it to a small sphere of clear light. And using this three dimensional symbol of clear light, enter in to this three dimensional, boundless, phenomenal universe. our world. Focusing on that small sphere, 
expanded in size to to you create one of the five symbols of the five elements. Earth, water, fire, air, or space. And since we're doing the practice tonight of the blue medicine Buddha, I'm going to pick the blue water sphere symbol for this five element healing method. So you see that point of light enlarge until it creates this blue sphere labeled water about the size of your thumbnail. Visualize it to move out in front of your body and up before your eyes, two feet in front. From that place in front, imagine it to grow in size to a large sphere, room size, that you can see your physical form just as you are inside. The five elements in themselves cannot be separate, but for practical, <clears throat> healing purposes, the water element is stressed in this practice. So there you are sitting peacefully inside this blue, blue sphere of light. Receiving the full healing energy of those elements that your mother created you from. Every cell in your body benefiting. The mental process focusing. The emotional processes relaxing. Then, since we are bodhisattvas in training, we extend the healing energy of this practice to the world around us by expanding this influence of this fear to a radius of about 25 miles in every direction. encompassing town, city, island, or a large area of where you're doing this practice. And think the same healing results that you are enjoying extended to all the beings in that quadrant. Then with your imagination expanded, extended in size to completely enclose Mother Earth, including her atmosphere of air.
extended in size to completely enclose the solar system, an area of billions of miles in every direction. Extended in size to completely enclose our spiral disc-shaped galaxy. And then again, move beyond the boundaries of your conceptual states of awareness and ex blend this with the limitless light of boundless space. Be present, no meditation. Relax and contemplate space. The ultimate state of presence. Although blissful and serene, its nature is voidness. Then having enjoyed that gift to yourself, visualize again the blue sphere labeled water to encompass the galaxy. Shrink it in size to just enclosing the solar system. Moving inward, shrink it in size to just enclosing for us this island of Kauai and surrounding ocean. Smaller and smaller to just enclosing your physical form, just as you are, inside. All the life force and healing energy of Mother Universe into you. And finish the practice by imagining this sphere to shrink to its original size in front of your eyes, two feet in front. Drop it to chest level into your heart chakra. 
shrink it to a point of light and again blend with the infinite light of boundless space and be present and awake. vividly aware of the qualities of light and space. Then bring this developing awareness to in front of your eyes. And at all times extend it and its useful qualities to others. May all sentient beings have as much fun as we are. Now, there are many ways that this healing energy method taught by the lamas can heal various illnesses, maladies, physically, mentally, emotionally, and in some cases, spiritually. But however you apply it, and to whoever, to whoever you extend this to, children, adolescents, adults, allow them to entertain themselves according to their propensity, predisposition, habits, tendency. And remember at all times, and even though we're all different, we're all equal. And that state of equality, along with the understanding of the voidness aspect of our consciousness, our awareness, extends into the sounds of the other three Buddha energy fields. Om, Ha, and Hum. So we create this basis of these five spheres or Buddha fields or energy fields as interconnected to the five elements and their healing potential, which is limitless. To bring the body, speech, and mind into a universal state of harmony, working these two principles, interest in the well being of all others and our environment. And staying present in this state of timeless awareness. Not as an antidote, even though it's presented that way, but as an aspect of your existence, whether you're in a body or not. So we have these two that we're developing right now, evenness, which is the rotten energy field. That's extended to everybody. 
various animals and humans. And this state of voidness is the illusory nature of light energy of everything. And then we develop with the guidance of the Lamas, the karma family of bodhisattva training of body, speech, and mind. The mirror-like wisdom of awareness itself is acceptance that everything is useful, no judgment. And finally, discerning that these spheres are the development of higher states of intelligence in their own, just as they are. If you have these five understandings, ration, realizations is a better word, then you're a mature human being, as are all the lamas, monks, nuns, householders, yogis, yoginis. And that's as good as you can get. Nothing beyond that. So we take three of these spheres and with the guidance of the Lama, we receive the knowledge energy into our head with the vibration of home which is actually connecting to all the universe. Then with the Lama's speech and guidance, the vibration of the sound ah enters into our throat chakra. So what we develop here is expressed through our voice. And then from the heart chakra of the Lama comes the home, the blue home, which is infinite universal healing applied to infinite sentient beings, none left out. Applied to treat the cause of pain and suffering, disease, illness, and the symptoms, the outer manifestation of these diseases. So the Om Ah Hung is three Buddha energy fields of the mind of the Lama entering into your three places. The Om vibrating in your head, the Ah in your throat, and the Hum in your heart chakra. And when you bring them all together, the Om into the Ah into the Hum in your heart chakra, you come up with the Medicine Buddha creation sound, Hum. That home and this home are the same home. But there's one more step. And in this empowerment of these sutra and tantric deity practices, the Ru Lama actually enters into you like water into water. So that all of the energy of the body, speech, and mind of that being is available to your being, your, your state of presence developing. And then when you take that and be the medicine Buddha, as visualized here, sitting on a lion's throne with cross vajras of the five Buddha fields underneath, blue in color, wearing the robes of a Lama, 
with the medicine bowl in the left hand and the myra ball and fruit in the right hand. This treat, treats the symptoms, this treats the cause. In space with the sun and moon in a natural setting, our world just as it is. Then you as the medicine Buddha empowered in this way, extend this healing energy to your mother, then your, all your relatives, friends and lovers, everybody you have good karma with and all the negative harmful beings. And then all the humans on the planet in both categories seven or eight billion of us. And then all the animals in the ocean, in the land, in your body, everywhere. Infinite in number, receiving this energy. Then the four spirit worlds, the celestial realms of the heavens of all the revision. The war and war god realm. The deprived spirit worlds and the hell realm, all equally receiving this wish for good health, wealth, and realizations of higher states of intelligence simply by doing the practice, saying the mantra, having the seed self on your heart center, and being present. Tadyata Om Bikanji Bikanji Mama Bikanji Rasa Sampagate Soha Tardyata Om Bikanji Bikanji Maha Bikanji Rasa Sampagate Soha Tardyata Om Bikanji Bikanji Maha Bikanji Rasa Sampagate Soha These letters circling the blue home in your heart center in a small five colored sphere of light about the size of your thumbnail. As pictured here, with these mantra symbols going this way, horizontal. In some practices, they actually go this way or that way, but this is all being connected to the loving kindness and compassion generated through the heart energy, just like we did with the five elements, three lights practice. But extended to infinite sentient beings is Mahayana. This great perfection of this practice establishes the state of presence as a medicinal antidote. Universally and personally applied. Tadyato Vikanji Vikanji Maha Vikanji Rasa Samangate Soha Tadyato Bikanji Bikanji Maha Bikanji Rasa Samangate Soha Tadyato Bikanji Bikanji Maha Bikanji Rasa Samangate Soha Tadyadom, Bikanji, Bikanji, Maha, Bikanji, 
Prasdu samugate soha Rajato vikanji vikanji ma vikanji Prasdu samugate soha Rajato vikanji vikanji ma vikanji Prasdu samugate soha Rajato vikanji vikanji Ma be kanji vata samugate soha tajato be kanji be kanji ma be kanji vata samugate soha tajato be kanji be kanji ma be kanji vata samugate soha tajato be kanji be kanji Ma be kanji vasa samagati soha. Tajato be kanji be kanji. Ma be kanji vasa samagati soha. So as you sound the mantra, to bury yourself more in this state of present, extend the loving kindness the projection of this wish-fulfilling gem of the home to your own loved ones individually. All beings collectively, of course, is the purpose of the mantra. But subjectively, healing those closest to it. And then gradually extending that field of influence more and more out, like we did the five elements back, to more and more being. You can do it on YouTube. You can do it with a newspaper. You can do it with the social media. You can do it by driving a traffic. <laughs> or simply, being present. Tajado Vigandi Vigandi Ma Vigandi Vasa Samagati Soha Tajado Vigandi Vigandi Ma Vigandi Vasa Samagati Soha Tajado Vigandi Vigandi Ma Vigandi Vasa Samagati Soha Tajado Vigandi Vigandi Ma Vigandi Vasa samagate soha tajato vikanji vikanji da vikanji vasa samagate soha tajato vikanji vikanji ma vikanji vasa samagate soha tajato vikanji vikanji ma vikanji vasa samagate soha Tajato be kanji be kanji ma be kanji rasa samagate soha. Tajato be kanji be kanji ma be kanji rasa samagate soha. Tajato be kanji be kanji. Maha Vikanji Raja Samagate Soha Tajato Vikanji Vikanji Maha Vikanji Raja Samagate Soha Now as you're sounding this mantra, think that the three lights, Om, Ah, and Hum, and the other two lights of the five Buddha fields, all of these from five places inside your body, head, throat, heart, navel, sex chakra, blazing out with the vibration of the mantra, penetrating individually your loved ones, friends, relatives, and so forth, and then universally all sentient beings of the six realms. Meditate like that. Tajado be kanji be kanji ma be kanji. Vasa samagate soha. 
Now say it softer, little, little lighter. Whisper it. Now silence. Just imagine the mantra. Rotating around the home in your heart center. Clockwise with the letters facing out, blasting home and mantra energy through your body and healing energy out like the sun does. Then whisper it. Now 
It sounded softly. Adyato, Viganji, Viganji, Ma, Viganji, Raja Samaka. So, 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 Adyato, Viganji, Viganji. Oh,比干净，比干净，哦，比干净，万事怎么干的？哦，比干净，比干净，哦，比干净，万事怎么干的？哦，比干净，比干净，比干净，哦，比干净，万事怎么干的？哦，比干净，比干净，比干净，哦
Lifting your heart from the home. Light goes to the <clears throat> demigod, war gods, and goddess realm. And all their fighting and quarreling and jealousy and abusive nature be purified. Then to the human condition, three times the mantra, and all the neediness, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual defectiveness be purified. And from your heart, blue light goes to the animal world, all ignorant. Be purified. And the deprived spirit world, traitors, hungry ghosts, 280 categories, never enough. And the, two, the lower realms of the hells of demonic spirit, cannibal spirits, and those with abusive body, speech, and mind. Purified in a loving kindness. So <laughs> Then you as the medicine Buddha, all the th six realms purified, disappear into the mantra circling the blue hung in your heart center. And the mantra sounds, Hadyata Om Bikanji Bikanji Maha Bikanji Raja Samogati Soha, disappear into the blue hung. And the blue moon merges with the five colored light of the five Buddha family and expands to the totality of space. Relax, no meditation, be present in bliss.
Then move from this accomplishment stage of entertaining bliss in a state of present, Mahamudra, acquire the rainbow body of whatever deity practice your teacher or you have adopted. Chenrezi, Tara, Medicine Buddha, it can be a Buddha image, it can be a Bodhisattva image, it can be a Lama image. Then also is recommended to do the empty body practice called the nine yantras. This practice was extended to us in a retreat by our Lama Dhamkai Norbu Rinpoche. The simplicity of it is the space and light energy, which is the nature of everything, including your thought, is centered in your body. And so it's called the nine yantra.
empty body meditation. And to do it, the men raise your right hand to your nose, women to your left. Touch your nose and inhale. And as you're inhaling, visualize light filling up your body to your mouth. And when you drop your left hand, or whichever hand, the light drains back down and your body is empty, which is the term voidness or sunyata. Then you do the same with the opposite hand. Raise it up, elbow extended, touch your nose, light filling up, inhale. Exhale, the hand comes back down, rest on your knee. Now do that three times on each side. And then three times, bend forward, exhale, and the light goes out of your body. Coming back up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, empty. Inhale, full of light, up to your throat. So now we'll do the full nine, three on each side and three bending forward. Inhale. Now it's your option on the resting at the end of this nine yantra practice of being either full of light or empty. Either way is the same, equal. And my teacher, Nankai Norma Rinpoche, also expressed the need to chant the Om Ah Hum, the empowerment mantra of the three Buddha families that they represent. And visualizing the white, red, and dark blue energy of the Om Ah and the Hum coming from your three places out to limitless sentient beings, loved ones, relatives, pets, enemies, humans, animals, spirits, or everywhere, your choice. Om. You can make a tune or just chant. 
Or just think that the three places are white, red, and blue inside your body. Om in the head, ah in the throat, and hum in the heart chakra. Or with the three lights coming in with the own, filling your lungs with white light, just like you did with the three lights healing practice. And the ah is the red light flashing through your body. Then the home is the combination of those two blue light universally applied to infinite sentient being throughout space. Move with your breath, inhale, exhale, inhale. Three lights, white light coming in, red light filling your body, every every cell, blue light to space. And ten home. One first three for your body, speech, and mind. Four together to so bring one into a state of presence with your body, speech, and mind. And three final monks to establish the Dharmakaya, Sambhogakaya, and Nirmanakaya, the mind of the Lama as your mind. Oh, oh.
Manakara yake semche mama rektoche la so wadjap so. Manakara yake semche mama rektoche la so wadjap so. Manakara yake semche mama rektoche la so wadjap so. With all beings, my children, we go to the Lama, precious Buddha. With all beings, my children, filling space, we go to the Lama, precious Buddha. With all beings, my children, filling the universe, we go to the Lama, precious Buddha. Karma Pacheno, 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 Tyson to Rinpoche, Cheno, Tyson Rinpoche, Cheno, Tyson to Rinpoche, Cheno, Lama Rich and Cheno, Lama Rich and Cheno, Lama Rich and Cheno, Lama Rich and Cheno. I'm a tension channel, 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 I'm a color ripochet 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 channel, all lamas channel, all lamas channel, all lamas channel. No one can And with hands, palms together in front of your heart chakra, we dedicate the refuge spirit that everything that we perform tonight benefit limitless sentient beings throughout space. By this future, having realized Maha Murder, may we quickly establish all beings without exception in that state of presence. By the blessings of the three bodies of the Buddha being accomplished, by the blessing and the wishes of the Sangha being <clears throat> unwavering, and by the blessing of the wishes of the Dharma being unchanging, may all our wishes be fulfilled. May all the Lamas have long life, great health, happiness, and prosperity. And may all their wishes be fulfilled. May all beings be happy, free of suffering, established in bliss and equanimity. Aloha and Tashi Delay.